good morning students uh, here we go with the uh, another type of uh, problems in uh, development of lateral surfaces of solids so the problem statement here goes like a vertical cylinder of base diameter 50 mm and axis length 60 mm is cut by two planes which are perpendicular to vp and inclined at 45 degree to hp and uh, passing through either side of the center point of the top face draw the development of the lateral cylinder so this is a typical problem uh, normally where we get uh, two planes which are inclined at 45 degree and uh, passing through either point of the center face again as we uh, already discussed whenever we want to have development of the cylinder we need to have a top and front view of the cylinder okay to drop that one first we will go with the uh, x y line which is of uh, 0.13 uh, then we will mention this one with the capital x and capital y and uh, the cylinder uh, looks like a circle in the top view the diameter they have given as a 50 so make it uh, dark because the whole cylinder will be visible for us okay and once this one is done in the front view the cylinder looks like a rectangle so from the mid point we just drop a uh, two projections okay so if you move here okay you can see an arc and a center dot okay which shows the center point in that one so want to draw the front view of this one e easy method is you can just go to the rectangle okay so the width of the rectangle will be equal to the diameter of the cylinder and the height of this one will be equal to height of the cylinder itself so we will get uh, uh, this rectangle you can just keep it here okay that will be that saves the time also and it will be easy for us to identify also okay when this one is done we we'll just uh, drop a two sorry a uh, one uh, radius to the circle from where you can just take the center of the cylinder okay so we say this 60 and 90 and change this uh, line thickness into the sorry type into the arc one okay so what this one is done uh, in order to locate the cutting plane okay so the usual method normally we take a line uh, a very thin line we uh, forget about the length Uh, we'll go to the angle which is inclined at 45 degree to the hp we'll enter the angle and we'll just drop a, a line so in order to place this one to the exact location so we'll take it from the tip of the line and uh, so here he says passing through the center point of the top face so this is the top face and this is the center point okay and uh, we'll go to the trim and we'll trim that one. okay so you can clearly identify uh, this is the top face and this is the center point of the top face okay and this is inclined at uh, 45 degree to the hp so you can just drop it here and you can show that is what is 45 degree okay and here it says either side of the axis so this is the axis we have drawn it to the one side so one more side that is to the right side we need to have so we will go to the mirror command and this line with respect to the axis will have it okay so this is how exactly we are going to have to the either side okay so now this and uh, this will be uh, visible for us that will be a cutting plane so we'll go with the axis line and the point by and uh, once this one is done so we'll go to the split line this till here and uh, split the this line till here okay So we'll select these lines and uh, we'll make it dark. Okay. So this is how exactly uh, the cutting plane of a cylinder looks like. So you can just mark the angle for this also. Okay. So which is inclined at 45 degree to the HP. Okay. This is how exactly we are going to locate the cutting plane. So when this one is done, now. how to uh, develop the lower portion in order to develop that one we need to divide this circle into 12 parts okay in order to do that one we need to have a radius here so select that radius then the circular pattern option will get highlighted so once you click that one so we will get the here the count as a 
okay and the angle of the circle is 360 so click to the center then click to the finish so we'll get the 12 parts in that one okay so one this one is done so you need to take a projection from each point already we have taken from here next point will be from here to the end of this one so click here then pick one more point here then to the end of this one okay so that uh, whenever we we are going to take a reference then it will be easy for us to take that one okay so next again this point here then here then here and then here okay so once this much is done you can just go back to the mirror command and then mirror this one with respect to the this point okay so you can see easily the same point we are going to get because this is a symmetrical one so you can just go to the extend to next command and extend this one till here okay so that's it so when this much is done now go to the smart dimension so click on the circle click on the circle and just click here and one more click on the axis and show the axis here first uh, let's name the circle properly okay so we'll go back to the and naming here a plus b c plus d e f g h i plus k k then back to the l so better we keep all the naming outside so that it should not uh, disturb us whenever we are going to take a, a reference point. Okay. So once this much is done, now we will see the cutting plane where exactly it cut us, cuts the uh, cylinder, we will just zoom that part. So now here we have a A, it cuts at only one point, so this point uh, we can name it as one dash. Okay. So here we have B and L, it cuts at two points, so we will have two dash in the bracket, three dash and again here we have C, K and it cuts again at two points, four dash and five dash we can have and here there is no cut on DJ but we will locate that naming with respect to the numbers, so we will have six in the bracket, seven dash and on EI it is 8 dash in the bracket 9 dash and on F and H it is a 10 dash in the bracket 11 dash and on last G it is a 12 dash so now you can just zoom this much and clearly you can look at okay on A this is 1 dash on B and L it is 2 dash 3 dash on C it is 4 dash C dash on D and J it is 6 and 7 and on E it is 8 and 9 and on F it is 10 and 11 and on G it is 12. Okay. So this is how exactly we are going to do. So now if you go and select at any point you will see the end point. Okay. So only we are told like you need not to drop a continuous line. So better to take a discontinuous line. So that will be easy for us in order to drop the projection in the next thing. Okay. So now uh, when we look into the cylinder, uh, when you cut and open up that one, okay, it looks like a, a rectangle. Okay, so rectangle, we are going to take a rectangle. So the width of that one will be equal to the circumference. That is, uh, we know the formula for a circumference 2 pi, that is 3.142 star, that's a radius, that is 25. Okay, that will be the width and the height of this one will be equal to the height of the cylinder itself. So you will get one uh, rectangle that should be kept in align with the x, y line. Okay. So you can just go to the smart dimension and click on the this length and this length. Okay. So in order to type that one, you can just go to the uh, text and you can write here. circumference will be equal to 2 star 3.142 star 25 so that will be equal to 157.1 mm you can just 
make that one because without that uh, dimension it is will not be able to do the uh, rectangle okay so one this much is done now we need to divide this uh, rectangle into 12 parts in order to divide that 12 parts so we will be having two options the first will be uh, a rectangular pattern okay in order to get that rectangular pattern first we need to select the line okay once you select the line that pattern will get highlighted you can go to the rectangle command so now you will get this window here okay so x count we need to have a 12 and in a y count we need to have a 1 and x offset will we are going to have 157.1 divided by 12 because we are going to divide this whatever the width into 12 parts and uh, y offset is give it as a 0 and then click on a finish so easily you will get uh, these uh, 12 parts okay. once that one is done now just go back to the distance between and just mark any one distance either to the down or up okay now you can see this whatever the cylinder okay we are here with the 12 parts which is divided into again equal 13.09 okay and one more option is so you can go to the offset command okay if you click offset you will get one uh, option here distance chain all those things in the chain you need to go to the single okay so select this line okay click the green signal and here you give 157.1 divided by 12 okay once you click that one you can see okay to the right side if you go on clicking so you will get the line so you can just click for a 12 methods so if you compare both the things the rectangular pattern will be easy for us in order to do the or uh, divide the rectangle okay so one this much is done so next thing will be with a capital letter you just name the uh, bottom portion so that will be a b c d e f g h i j k then l then back to k okay and you just na write the names here that is the number which are going to cut on that one so on a it is one dash on the on a it is one on b it is two okay on c you can see on c it is four okay on d it is six on e it is eight okay on f it is ten and on g it is a twelve okay you can just identify by looking at this point okay and on H, where is H? H is here. So on that one, we are going to have 11, okay, and 9, then 7, then 5, then 3, then back to 1, okay. So that will make us to identify the um, the alphabets with the numbers properly, okay. You can just keep all those things above so that whenever it cuts with a uh, cutting plane, right, so we can just mark the things now in order to locate this uh, the lower portion so we are going to take a line with a point 1 3 okay first we will take the 1 okay it coincides with the 12 so this line cuts on 1 okay as well as 12 and then back to 1 okay that's where you need to be careful okay so next line 2 3 then it is coinciding with the 10 11 okay first is a 2 okay then it is 10 then it will be 11 then back to the 3 okay so next will be 4 5 8 9 uh, first will be that is 4 5 there's a 4 uh, then back to first will be like a, a 9 okay sorry we missed it 4 then 8 then it will be uh, 9 then it will be 5 okay so next it will be 6 and 7 so 6 is here and 7 is here okay so now once that much is done so if you want you can just move these namings down okay so this is 1 
here it is 2 here it is a 4 and the 6 will remain same so just I will zoom this much ok then this 8 then 10 then 12 ok then it's like a step so this is you can just keep it down so this is 11 this is 9 and this is 7 so this will be 5 and uh, this will be 3 and uh, this will be 1 okay so you can just see here when you look into the word like it, it goes up and down it is like a, a staircase okay so where you just take a up down so one this much is done now we'll go to the uh, uh, curve okay so start from one okay always you need to take the end points in order to drop the curve one two then four then six then eight then ten then twelve then eleven then nine then seven then five then three then one right click okay then select that curve and uh, make it a 0.5 okay so one this much is done go back to the line okay 0.5 thickness so from here to the a then back to the a then to the one okay so if you do this much okay so that completes the problem you can just see here wherever you get okay this you, wherever you want to have the curve in the cylinder you need to have only the end point so whenever you are taking the projections okay so you need to stop there okay on whatever the point then you need to move on if not you, you will not be able to take the curve so if there is a one uh, intersection point or a midpoint okay which are going to appear on the uh, curve here okay whenever you are selecting here so the curve will automatically disappears so better uh, while dropping the projection line itself you need to identify say if this if you are taking a reference point from here 1 and 12 means you need to click on 1 then 12 then back to 1 and here we have a 4 points means first is 2 ok then it is like a 10 then 11 then 3 like that if you click there so it will be easy for us to take the a single points ok so that's how exactly you can do and this is the only one typical problem where we are going to get a two cutting planes so rest on all the problems we are going to have only one cutting plane so and already we are told right if it is inclined to the hp we are going to take a line then uh, pressing a tab will give the angle so if it is inclined to the axis then in the angle will give 90 minus of uh, axis inclination okay say like a 40 so whatever the angle okay so we'll just drop it here so means whenever we are taking uh, the reference okay say here okay let's just let me take the two concept okay if i go to the angle between if this is inclination to the hp means this is the angle okay if it is inclination with the axis means this will be the angle okay so you can just follow one method but whenever they give inclination with the axis you can just give 90 minus of 40 degree sorry okay then you will get easily that angle Okay, so thank you.